all right so today i will be teaching you trouton's rule it is a requested topic by one of the subscribers okay so before i jump to trouton's rule i just wanted uh, to introduce you to the basic concept behind the trouton's rule that is entropy and entropy of vaporization as we all know entropy the entropy the change in the entropy of a system is equal to the amount of energy transferred in the form of heat in a reversible way to the temperature at which the transfer takes place in simple words ds is dq reversible by t so one thing we should know is why only heat uh, uh, is considered but not work okay so the transfer of the energy as a heat is a dis disorderly motion uh, which is significant for the entropy whereas transfer of energy as a work is a orderly motion okay so that is the reason we consider the heat transfer but not but the work uh, but the energy is not transferred as a work because of its orderly motion okay next concept entropy of vaporization and now the entropy of a vaporization uh, is equals to the enthalpy of vaporization at the boiling temperature tb to its boiling temperature uh, in a simple way delta vaporization yes this is the entropy of vaporization this is the enthalpy of vaporization okay now comes here trouton's rule so this rule was given by the scientist named frederick thomas trouton and he is an irish physicist uh, great thing is he gave this rule uh, when he was doing his undergraduate that is at 20 years of age uh, he gave this rule so what basically this rule says is as we have seen the definition of entropy of vaporization that value is equals to 85 joule k inverse mole inverse that is this whole thing delta vaporization h uh, by boiling temperature is equals to 85 now this is this is not like into don't consider it as a into tv it is just that the entropy of vaporization at its boiling temperature is equals to enthalpy of vaporization at that particular boiling temperature okay so basically what is trouton's rule trouton's assumes that the entropy of vaporization of any liquid is e is equals to 85 joule k inverse mole inverse now what made him to assume this value as 85 why uh, now this equality is expected because when a liquid vaporizes the compact the condensed phase changes into a widely dispersed phase that is gas phase that occupies approximately the same value whatever its identity in simple words what he meant is when a liquid is converted into gas he assumed that whatever be the liquid once it gets converted into the gas the volume occupied by any gas is approximately the same so as the volume occupied is same so he assumed that the entropy of vaporization value this value is also equals to 85 joule k inverse mole inverse for any kind of liquid okay so but there are exceptions even to the trouton's rule and the exception what does the exception says when there is any liquid such as water molecule uh, in that hydrogen bonding is present because of the hydrogen bonding there is a proper orderly arrangement in that particular molecule okay because of the little ordered arrangement of that hydrogen bonding this value is found to be a little greater than 85 for water i think it is approximately 95 joule k inverse mole inverse so whenever there are some molecular interactions or hydrogen bonding or another forces present this rule is not applicable so this is the exception for the Trouton's rule. So here is some literature values. For benzene, uh, we have found that it's 87.2. For bromine, it's 88.6. For CCL4, it's 85.9. For cyclohexane, it is 85.1. So you can see that the values are almost close to 85 for all the liquids in which there are no any other interactions present. But for the water molecule, because of the hydrogen bonding the value is not 85 indeed it is 95 approximately 95 okay so what kind of questions you can expect in the exam is 
estimate the enthalpy of vaporization of ethane from its boiling point which is minus 88.6 degrees celsius so the basic uh, the importance of the troton's rule is uh, with with very ease we can determine the enthalpy of vaporization if we simply know the boiling temperature of that particular liquid this is one of the easiest ways to determine the uh, enthalpy of vaporization okay so how can you determine here the enthalpy of vaporization simply by substituting the boiling temperature given here into 85 joule k inverse mol inverse this is the troton's value right sorry troton's value so the tv is actually minus 88.6 convert into kelvins so you will get the value as 184.4 into 85 so this is the calculated value you may expect the question because after seeing 2017 paper uh, you cannot tell that this is not important so i won't study because from any corner of the book you can get question and thermodynamics is very important chapter so you can expect the question even on the troutons rule we cannot say right so you can refer book by peter atkins Julio Di Paola, Elements of Physical Chemistry, 7th edition. This is 2017 edition and it's really very good, a very good book uh, for thermodynamics and especially this Troughton's Rule concept because hardly you have found the Troughton's Rule anywhere on the YouTube. So I thought I'll make a video and it will be helpful for all. Right? So thank you. Thanks a lot.